amazing effort so far. All the fans in the house enjoying it as we have a one-point game heading into the fourth quarter of play. Athletes Unlimited tonight on ESPN+. Plus. Cheryl Swoops, the Hall of Famer. Janae Sims is manning the sideline. I'm Cindy Brunson, and we are so very glad to have you along the way as we start this fourth quarter. Team Cloud has won back-to-back -back quarters and the 60 win points that go along with that. But Team Cloud has not led this game since they were up 2-0 in the first quarter. So what will be critical, perhaps on this possession, Cheryl, for Team Cloud to finally push through against Team Mitchell? Well, just, just make sure they get a really good possession, get a good shot at the basket. Putting Lexi Brown back in the game. Ruthie Heber at the elbow. That'll work. And for the first time since the first quarter, Team Cloud has the lead, 63-62. to 62. Zaya Cook kicking it to Lexi Hall. Tiff Mitchell, corner three, that's good. Tiff Mitchell has 19, trailing only Izzy Harrison, who leads all scorers with 20. She's done that coming off the bench. Time to check in with the third member of our team, Janae Sims. Janae, what do you have? Well, listening in on to the team cloud huddle, they are really about over-communicating this uh, this last quarter, they know they have to win not only the quarter points, but the actual quarter to win this game. Um, they want to over-communicate, and listening to Tasha Cloud, her next venture should be coaching after basketball, because <laughs> wow, oh wow, does she know basketball, and her IQ is off the charts. She was just really telling her team where to go, where to be, what to look for. It was amazing to just listen in to that. Oh, Janae, you just made Phoenix Mercury fans so happy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Thanks so much for that. That's what Tosh does. Janae, can you hear me? No? Well, I, that, that, is oh, go what, ahead, that is what Tosh does. But So my question is, is, is Tosh the, the only one that's doing most of the talking in the, in the huddle? You know what? No, it was, it was mainly Tosh, but a big part of that was also Izzy. Um, I think they feed off each other well. If you can't tell by this game, um, yeah. with points and assists between each other, um, they were mostly both communicating to the whole team, like, this is what we need to do. Awesome yeah. stuff, Janae. Thank you so much. A big part of the reason why Tosh has nine dimes to lead all players in game number one of our doubleheader. Cloud surveying as Team Mitchell has put together a few baskets to increase the lead. Tiff Mitchell doesn't have numbers, but she's got some space. Pull up jumper at the elbow is good. And that is what Team Cloud is going to have to do. Tiff Mitchell a little quiet in the third quarter, but fourth quarter she is absolutely going to look to go to work. Tiff leads all scores with 21 points. Tosh Cloud hits the deck hard. It is a blocking foul. It's nice to see Cloud get up. Yeah. Tiffany Mitchell just pushing the ball in transition. Nobody picks her up. She just stops, pops for two. A little 6-0 run for Team Mitchell wearing blue and gray. Tosh Cloud stepping to the free throw line where she's got 15 points and flirting with the double-double with the nine dimes. Tosh gets it done. Experience the excitement of AU Pro Basketball in person. Join us here at the Fair Park Coliseum in Dallas. Go to auprosports.com backslash tickets to get yours today. Tosh connecting on both free throws. So that 6-0 run by Team Mitchell comes to an end. But the lead still a couple of possessions for the team in blue. And it's been the fast break baskets that have been working well for Team Mitchell, Cheryl. Well, 
Well, because when you look at the team that, that Tiff gra graduated, that Tiff <laughs> drafted, or graduated, that Tiff drafted, that's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Get out in transition, push the ball, because they have those types of players that are really good in the open court. And I want to go back to something Janae said when she was talking about Team Cloud. The same goes for Team Mitchell, because they both understand what's at stake. Right. You win this game, it's 180 win points per plate. And a potential to have 180 more points because they've already got 120 by winning the second and third quarters. Worth 60 points apiece, respectively. Shot clock getting low. Lexi Brown from the logo. Oh, the hoop wouldn't have it. Battle for the rebound. And Lexi Hull is ticketed with the foul. And I know she thought that was a jump ball. What did you think, Cheryl? Mm -hmm. it, it, either way, what, what I really thought was one, Ruki Hebert is really good on the offensive glass. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a jump ball. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. Tosh Cloud off on the triple try. Lexi Hull has the rebound and is looking for teammates. Swings it over to Zaya Cook. Woo, that Tosh Cloud defense came in a hurry. Pass a little bit off the mark. Hull couldn't handle. And then Cloud swings it to Lexi. Oh, beautiful pretty. bounce pass to Ray Burrell with the finish. That is beautiful. Oh, the lost art of the bounce pass. How great is AU Pro Hoops? The lead down to four for Team Mitchell. Tiff. Step back. Beautiful weak side rebound by Lexi Brown, and Lexi Hull picks up the personal foul. You just gotta love getting the ball, pushing, running in transition. Tosh Cloud to Lexi Brown. Nice bounce pass to her LA Sparks teammate, Ray Burrell. Lexi Hall in serious foul trouble. She's got four with six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter of play. And that bounce pass by Lexi Brown was spot on. Mm -hmm. Ruthie Hebert connecting, making it a two-point game again. It's a little 6-0 run by Tosh Cloud's group wearing orange and white. Every time Team Mitchell thinks they can create separation, Team Cloud says, think again. Tiff Mitchell off the window. No, whistle blows as Mitchell goes flying. So it'll be Tiff Mitchell to the free throw line. Tiffany Mitchell at the line. Tiff Mitchell shooting 79% from the free throw line. She gets that first one to go. I want to meet her dog, Braxton, the Maltipoo. I didn't know she had. <laughs> Listen, if somebody has a dog, that's the first thing I glob onto. I hear oh my you, gosh. I hear you. You know what I mean? It's her dog here. I don't, I don't know, we'll have to ask her. We need a chair chat. Because you have dogs too, you know we're dog do. people. No doubt. Yes. Cloud with her third double-double of the season, 17 points, 10 of 6. And that's helping her move up the in-game leaderboard. As you see on your screen, Harrison, the beautiful turnaround jumper, she's got 22. And that's all from coming off the bench. The lead back down to two for Team Mitchell. The lead in the quarter, one for Team Mitchell. Zaya Cook attacking, getting the roll, and and one opportunity. Cook oh, is cooking. Oh. Oh, Zaya, that was spicy. Just putting the ball on the deck, going right by Ray Burrell, who's a pretty good defender in her own right, finishing at the hoop. Yeah, but for Zaya, it's that low center of gravity, right? Mm -hmm. So Cook stepping to the free throw line where she's shooting 83% this season. That first step. And she completes the three-point play the old-fashioned way. So the lead for Team Mitchell is four here in this third quarter. The lead in the game of five. Cook with eight points now here in the decisive fourth quarter of play. Harrison slipping through. She's got 24. Izzy <laughs> came to play tonight. Let's, let's remind everyone mm -hmm. that Izzy Harrison 
is typically in the top five on the leaderboard. 100%. Team Cloud has made four of its last four field goals. Team Mitchell leading the game by three. Ooh, come on back. Team Cloud at 79 to 76. And most importantly for Team Mitchell, leading in the quarter by two points as they try to level up in the quarter wins department with Team Cloud and walk away with a victory too. Yeah, this quarter is crucial for both teams. To your point, point, Team Mitchell winning the first quarter and Team Cloud winning the second and third quarter. This could possibly be 180 points for Team Cloud if they win this quarter. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Izzy Harrison. What hasn't she done tonight? There are 24 bench points by Team Cloud tonight, and all of them have come from Izzy Harrison. Well, 24 points, eight boards. And this has got to be a great feeling for Izzy. Coming back be, after being out for a year, coming mm -hmm. back, being able to play basketball again, and to, to have this type of performance, that does a lot for your mental, does a lot for your confidence. Battle for the rebound goes out of bounds, and it will stay with Team Mitchell. Tosh Cal Cloud can't believe it. If you like this game, a reminder, Athletes Unlimited continues tonight at 9 Eastern as Team Gray, led by Alicia Gray, faces Team Sims, led by Odyssey Sims. If you like scoring, that is the game for you. Tiff Mitchell pull up jumper off the mark. Ami here with another rebound. She quickly gets it to her point guard. Harrison doesn't get the roll. That's about the only thing that hasn't gone right for Harrison. And Izzy with some critical free throws here as she can tie the quarter at the stripe. It's Team Mitchell leading the quarter by two, 17 to 15, with those 60 quarter win points on the line. Now, Cindy, there are a lot of things that make up a great point guard. And Tosh Clout has all of those things, but one of them being recognizing who has the hot hand, mm -hmm. and you keep feeding that hot hand until they stop you. And Tosh, every time down the floor, is looking for Izzy. And Harrison has tied the quarter at 17 points apiece. Harrison with 26 points. Her career high is 40, so she's far off of that, but it's a new season high for her with the 26. Fancy move by Zaya, but it doesn't pay off. Ball will stay with Team Mitchell wearing the gray and blue. It will be ball out of bounds underneath with four minutes to go, 11 seconds on the shot clock. A Duke mm -hmm. up and in for two. Bulgak getting it done. Had a little foul trouble, shaking that off and contributing again. Tosh Cloud bouncing beautifully to Burrell. Oh, my goodness. And that, that's textbook basketball, what Burrell did. Tosh just putting her head down, getting in the paint. But Ray Burrell not standing in the corner, just diving to the basket, knowing that Tosh is going to find her for an easy layup. For a third time this season, 12 dimes for Tosh. Well, Tosh just turning the corner, getting downhill, but Ray Burrell diving to the basket. Tosh just dropping off a dime for an easy two by Burrell. When Tosh puts her head down mm -hmm. and turns the corner and starts going, it is tough to stop her. Tosh just picked up the technical foul, which is why Tiff Mitchell shot the free throw. So the technical foul is also a personal foul. So that's number four against number nine. Tight game, just two points separating these two teams. And in the quarter, Tiff Mitchell's team is winning by one, 20 to 19. Three and a half to go here in the fourth quarter of play. Hook wanting a screen. Gets it to Bulgak, but a pass was off. Cloud trying to get it ahead to Harrison, who luckily tracks down the basketball for Team Cloud. Kicking it to Tosh, and now the offense resets. Facilitator Chastity Melvin calling out what she wants to see. Battle for the rebound, won by Cook. Terrific box out by Zaya. I would love to see Izzy put Tiff Mitchell on the block instead of stepping off the block. 
Cook walked away like that was down. It was not. And here comes Team Cloud. Burrell up and in. So the quarter lead shifts back to Tosh Cloud and Team Orange. 21 to 20. And we're tied at 82. Team Orange has not had a lead in this game. Uh, only a couple of times. Once in the first quarter, they took the lead momentarily early in this fourth quarter. And then Team Mitchell took it right back. Tiff for three. Off the mark. Harrison, another rebound. She's got 10 for a double-double. And now it's timeout by Team Cloud. We're tied at 82. And Tosh is tired. Look at her. Hands on the knees. Trying to find some energy late. And you know she's tired because she has worked so hard to find Izzy Harrison all game long. Well, I, I think she's I think she's upset. Well, she, she got that wanna, technical foul. Well, she she didn't want a timeout call, right? Because right now what they've been doing is pushing the ball in transition, and she has been finding Izzy everywhere on the floor. Izzy just doing a nice job of getting out running, but also just posting up down low and going to work. There is nobody on Team Mitchell right now that can guard Izzy and slow her down. So what Tosh wants to keep doing is just getting out, pushing the ball in transition. And so I, I think she was a little upset because she wants to just get out and run. She doesn't want to have court set. Foul trouble to go over. Adu Bulgak has fouled out. She's got the five personal fouls. And Lexi Hall has four personals, as does Tosh Cloud. Izzy Harrison with her first double-double of the season, 26 points, 10 rebounds. The ninth double-double of her career here at Athletes Unlimited. And it's so great, to your point, Cheryl, that Izzy has found her form again. Yeah, Izzy looks really good running the floor offensively, defensively, just finding her space and her spots to score on the offensive end. And she she is a big reason why we have we have a tie ball game. And of course, Team Orange, led by Natasha Cloud, out on the floor first. They want to keep it rolling. They've made six of their last seven field goals to tie the game again. And there you see Harrison leading all scorers with 20. Six huge points. Harrison dipping to the basket. Cloud didn't see her. Ami here inside to Izzy. She's not going to miss from there. She's got 28. <laughs> Listen, but that nice little high low action from Ami here and Izzy is tough. Zaya Cook unable to tie from three, but the long rebound lands in her lap. Lexi Brown tried to foul, didn't, and Cook comes through with the bucket. So Zaya Cooks got 21. And you see a do out there, a change since I last broadcasted with AU. You get six personal fouls now, not five. And the shot clock will reset. So that's why Bullcrack is back on the floor with those five personal fouls. If I'm Team Orange, that's who I attack. Take that size off the floor. Well, I, I, I would like to attack a Duke, but at the same time, you got to keep feeding the hot hand. And that hot hand is Izzy right now. Lexi Brown. That's Lexi's first basket of the game, but she's tied a career high with eight assists. She's been contributing all night long, Cheryl. Yeah, even though she hasn't been shooting the ball well, and we talked about that earlier in our chair chat, mm -hmm. Lexi has found a way to stay in this game and contribute with that eight assists. Wrap around by Maddie Segrist, and just like that, it's a one-point lead in the quarter for Team Cloud wearing orange. 25-24, we're tied at 86 with a minute 15 to go. Oh, the hoop just wouldn't have that Ray Burrell shot. A tie-up here. Leticia Ami here whistled for the personal foul. She can't believe it. She thought she was held by a dude. Yeah. Here's another look. What say you, Cheryl? I say let him play. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can see. I can see where a me here, a me here is saying that a dude is holding her, and a dude is saying, "Well, she's on my back." So now we're going to have a replay review. 
A challenge has been issued by Team Cloud wearing orange. It's a captain's challenge. Tosh Cloud has been successful with one of these challenges tonight. And the foul on the floor was called against Leticia Ami here for the hold. And her counter was, well, I was held by a Duke. So yeah, well, they're both going for the ball. Oh, that's a tough one. Because a dude is, is holding a me here. But did a me here come over a dude to try and get the offensive rebound? Our last look at this. I say that's a foul on my dude. Then you would be fast friends with Leticia no, no. and me here because that's <laughs> and, what she and, said. Touch cloud too, probably. Right? Because right? she doesn't want to lose the challenge. Uh, the call stands, so the foul against Ami here. And it will be free throws for Bulgak. As Adut steps to the free throw line with a minute and 10 seconds to go here in this fourth quarter of play. Team Cloud leading the quarter by one point. And now we're tied at 25 points apiece. Those 60 quarter points for a win on the line as well as the 180 points per player for winning the game. Everything in Athletes Unlimited has a point of value, which just ratchets up the excitement as well as the execution by the players. Team Mitchell leading the quarter by one and leading the game by two. Lexi Brown directing traffic, wants to clear it out against Zaya Cook. Gets it back to Ami here. Easy Harrison calling for it. Ami here wanted it. Rebound put back by Harrison, earns her a trip to the free throw line. Izzy is going to work. She is going to work. Not only scoring, but crashing the offensive glass, able to draw the foul on Segrist. Maddie Segrist picking up the personal foul. That's four on her. And Izzy can tie the game with the free throws right here. First one, wet as rain. Harrison's got 29, flirting with a 30-piece to tie the quarter points and take the lead here with this. Oh, that swish is sweet. She's got a 30-piece for the fourth time in her AU career. We're tied at 88, and it is Team Cloud wearing orange and white with a one-point lead in the quarter. Zaya Cook, step through, gets the roll. That was tough. Cook's got 25. And that was over. Is Anna B here? Zaya Cook with a new career high of 25 points. A whistle blows, and Lexi Hall can't believe it. And oh, if daggers were shooting out of her eyes, yikes. <laughs> Zaya Cook just getting downhill over Izzy and me here. So Lexi Hall has asked Team Mitchell to challenge, asking her captain Tiff Mitchell to challenge. So that is what is at stake here as Lexi Hall was ticketed with the personal foul. It would be her fifth if it stands and with such a snug game and the possibility of overtime that fifth foul could be huge what say you cheryl on this replay oh me here i'm not sure i mean i mean her sets a good screen did she stick her butt out a little bit Here's another look. Oh, the knee of me here mm. sticks the knee out. Lexi might have an argument here. You know, for somebody who's such an elite defender and the defending 
Defensive Player of the Year here in AU. When she has an objection, you kind of listen. Yeah. <laughs> She's earned that respect because, as I said last, last season, that woman defends as if her ability to breathe depends on it. Yeah, she does. She uses her, her length very well to her advantage, and she typically is going to draw the assignment of defending the other team's best perimeter player. 100%. A reminder, Athletes Unlimited continues tonight at 9 Eastern as Team Gray faces Team Sims, and you can check out where to watch on the website, auprosports.com, or find it on our social accounts at AU Pro Sports. You don't want to miss a minute of the action. The games have been so high scoring and so hotly contested this season. It is Team Mitchell on top by two in the game, 90 to 88, and leading by a single point in the quarter point score, 28 to 27. And shout out to all the offense we've seen this season. We mentioned that Izzy has the 30 piece, She's the fourth different player to drop 30 this season. <laughs> that just tells you what the talent is mm -hmm. like in this league. Amen. So Lexi Hall wins the defensive challenge. That's what you want to see from your defensive player of the year here at Athletes Unlimited. Convinced her captain, Tiff Mitchell, to challenge. The challenge is one. And so it will be the foul against a me here, and it should be blue basketball since they won the challenge. Tosh Cloud doesn't want to give it up, but she understands what's involved. So we take it back before the foul occurred since it was the wrong call, so it will be orange basketball with less than 30 seconds to go here in the ball game. Team Mitchell leading by a deuce. Ray Burrell turning the corner. Trying to get it to Lexi Brown. Inside to Harrison calling for it. Shot clock getting low. Maddie Segrist has just picked up foul number four. Yeah, Izzy's a handful on the block. And Segrist doing everything in her power to try and slow Izzy down. You know, Cindy, there, there are some players when they go to the captain and say, hey, we need to challenge that, mm -hmm. that you kind of hesitate a little bit, right? A little like, bit. Yeah, 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 you probably did foul. Then there are other players when they say, please challenge that, you listen mm -hmm. and you challenge it. And Lexi Hall is one of those players because it's very rare when there's a call on her that she goes to the captain and says that that wasn't right, challenge it. 100%. 31 points, 11 rebounds for Izzy. All of this coming off the bench. She's been perfect at the free throw line. Seven for seven. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Eight for eight. <laughs> oh, you almost put that bad juju in the, into the air. I don't like that, Cheryl. Come on now. Izzy with a dozen points in this fourth quarter. And she also had a dozen points in the second quarter. Somebody knows when it's winning time, it is time to eat. Izzy has understood the entire assignment today. Yeah, Izzy, Izzy has been here before. Izzy is saying, y'all, just because I'm coming off the bench, right. I'm not new to this. <laughs> I'm true to this. This is oh, what I, like that. I was Put born that to on do. A t -shirt. How about that? Oh, I like that. But the other thing is her teammates also know. Yes. And they're like, feed the yes. beast. Get yes. her the rock, coach. Yeah, she's got that hand up, demanding the basketball. She wants it. It is winning time. Right now, we're tied at 90. Right now, Team Orange, Team Cloud has a one-point quarter lead in this fourth and final quarter. So with 14.8 seconds to go, Team Mitchell has the basketball. What do you want to see? Well, Tiffany Mitchell has to have the ball in her hands. Okay. Tiffany Mitchell has been great tonight. Again, 24 points, five mm -hmm. assists, eight boards. She's either going to create for herself or she's going to create, penetrate, draw a defender and kick to a shooter. But the ball has to be in Tiffany Mitchell's hands. This is the highest scoring quarter we have seen tonight. It is 29 to 28 advantage. Tosh Cloud and everybody wearing orange and white. Does Team Cloud have one defensive stand left in it to force overtime or potentially get the ball back to win it? 
Tick, tick. Five seconds to go. Zaya Cook, baseline. Off the glass, no. Amin here calling timeout with three tenths of a second on the clock, and I think they're going to take a look at that clock to see if there's more time than that. It's a big defensive rebound by Ami here. Zaya Cook wanted to see a replay. She thought she might have been fouled. Here's another look. She thought there was daylight, and then the team cloud defense closed the door. Well, T Tiff Mitchell gets the ball, gets it to Lexi Hall. Lexi tried to get it back to Tiff, but Team Cloud doing a really nice job of defending um, Tiffany Mitchell. So Zaya Cook, ball in her hand, puts it down, gets to the hole. Thinks she drew the foul, but no foul call. It's a great defensive stand by Team Cloud. Izzy showed, but stayed away from drawing a foul. So we're tied at 90. Team Cloud is winning the quarter, so if we do go to overtime, Team Cloud will pocket 60 quarter win points to go along with the fact that they will have won three quarters in a row. That's not too shabby. 180 points there for Team Orange after Team Mitchell came out like a house on fire in the first quarter, winning 29 to 18. So an opportunity to win the game Eight tenths of a second. What do you think the play will be? Well, for, for Team Cloud, you've got to just take care of the ball, run to the ball, meet your pass, and, and Team Mitchell, you got to foul right away. Ray Burrell for the win. And it does not fall, and we are headed to overtime, tied at 90 points apiece, but <laughs> Team Cloud won the fourth quarter, so they have won back to back to back quarters for 180 win points and overtime on the way. I don't know how Ray Burrell was wide open. Great luck, just couldn't find a way to knock it down. Oh. And it's not like Ray Burrell hasn't hit three point shots this season. No. She's got five of them no. on her resume. That is, that is absolutely within her game, her range, what she does. I tell you, I had shades of Camilla Cardozo for a second. Because she was so <laughs> wide open. Right? Yes, yeah, she was. Oh. Maybe, maybe she should have moved to the top of the key. Right? That's it. That's it. It is the seventh overtime in Athletes Unlimited basketball history. And we want to break down the OT rules for you. It's a five-minute period. No individual stat points can accrue. Each team gets one additional 30-second timeout, and the regular challenge rules apply. Teams are limited to one challenge in the last two minutes of regulation and any overtime periods. A reminder, our crew chief of officiating is Blanca Burns, assisted by Jafar Kinsey and Cameron Gelinas. So we've got five more minutes of hoop in the first of two games in our double header tonight <laughs> and I think it's pretty safe to say uh, the century mark will be eclipsed by one of these teams because the scoring has just increased quarter after quarter after quarter Izzy Harrison has 32 points to lead all scores with 11 rebounds as well the leading scorer for Team Mitchell is Zaya Cook with a career-high 25 points and five rebounds. Tiff Mitchell stepped in like she was going to jump it up for a second and then gave <laughs> way to Adu. So the overtime stanza is underway, and the team that has... One three straight quarters gets the tip, but Izzy just loses concentration for a second, and Cook is there. It's like stealing cookies out of the cookie jar. Cook. Back iron. Maddie Segris. Rebound. Put back. Gets the roll. Great rebound. Segris has got 17 points and 10 rebounds. Another double-double for her. 
She's got four double doubles now here in her first AU season. Double team comes on easy and somehow she slices through the D for two. It's a three-point play, the old-fashioned way opportunity for Izzy. <laughs> Come on, Izzy! Izzy is just getting it done. But if you notice what Team Cloud is doing, they're all spacing out, saying, Izzy, go to work. That time, able to split two, finish, and draw the foul. Izzy Harrison has got 34 points and misses a free throw for the first time tonight. She's now eight of nine. And we're tied at 92 again, and we're tied in the overtime as well. Cook off the bounce. That'll work. She's got a career high. 27 now. Yeah, that's a nice pull-up jumper by Zaya Cook. Team Mitchell with the lead, 94-92, also leading in this overtime. A turnover. Tiff Mitchell recognizing, pushing pace. Lexi Hall all alone. Hall's got a dozen. Now Mitchell with the lead of four in both the overtime stanza and in the game. Mm. And these two are not going to send Christmas cards to one another as Ami here and Adu got get tangled up again. Well, Tiffany Mitchell just pushing the ball in transition, finding Lexi Hall down low for two. You got to get back on D. Tiff Mitchell keeping her head up, surveying the floor, finding her teammate Lexi Hall for easy two. Adut has fouled out, and with more room in the paint, Ami here finishes. Ami here with 17 points and eight rebounds as she's flirting with a double double. The lead is two for Team Mitchell. Cook with the three, and she's got a 30 piece, the fifth different player in AU this season with 30 points. Lexi Brown bouncing to Harrison. Ooh. Izzy spinning and hitting. 36 points for Harrison. Just four shy of her career high. Give me that. Ray Burrell with the gigantic block on Tiff Mitchell. My goodness. Zaya Cook said, I am not afraid of the moment. Give me the rock, coach. Knocking it down from D. It's pretty. Team Mitchell on top by three. Tiff short, chasing down the rebound. Bodies fly, and here comes Team Cloud. Oh. Tosh bouncing to Ami here. She's got 19. That was gorgeous. Tosh Cloud has 13 assists as Ray Burrell is a little gimpy, so everybody's going to give her some time. As she shakes it off, Tiff Mitchell also taking a deep breath as well. This game making me want to reach for some Gatorade. The back and <laughs> forth and up and down. I thought you were going to say this game making you want to get out on the court. Oh, see, no, babe. no, no. I don't want to see my orthopedist. I'll leave it to the pros, man. I know better than that. How about Zaya Cook? She's got the 30-piece, right? 19 of which have come in the second half and in overtime. Yeah, Zaya Cook has been big for Team Mitchell in the fourth quarter and the start of overtime. Team Mitchell leading by one. Two minutes to go here in OT, and it's a turnover. Burrell getting it to Lexi Brown. Lexi waiting for teammates, letting her teammate Tosh Cloud know the defense was coming. Terrific call out. You gotta talk when you play this game, folks. Ami here stepping through. That's gorgeous. She has got 21. Well, the advantage for Team Cloud right now is definitely inside. A sixth lead change and Tiff Mitchell has come up gimpy. In fact, she's not coming up the floor at all. Lexi Brown for three. 
Tiff Mitchell tying her shoe, trying to get right, and Simone Augustus, the facilitator, calling for time. And you hope this is just a tweak because Tiff has been sensational, earning a captaincy for a second week and has 24 points on 9 of 22 shooting, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists as the trainer comes out to have a conversation with the captain. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, she's trying to will her body to work. Look at this. Take a look at what happened. Just a little awkward on the floor. Yeah, I, I couldn't really see what she did. She she didn't come down on anybody's foot. Mm -mm. Mm. Coming off under her own power. Fans in the stands appreciating her effort and energy and sending her all kinds of good vibes, healing vibes. Team Cloud with the lead, 100 to 99, and has the basketball. Or check that, Team Mitchell has the basketball, able to call timeout to make sure that Tiff Mitchell could get some assistance. It's a 6-0 run by Team Cloud wearing orange and white. Big part of the reason why they have the lead. Ami here with a career high 21 points. Six of those have come in overtime. And she's nearing a third double-double in her first season here with AU. As she has 21 points and nine rebounds. So Team Mitchell wants to stop this Team Cloud 6-0 run. And it will be Danny McRae checking in for the captain, Tiff Mitchell. So how does that change the offense for Team Mitchell? Well, it, it takes one offensive weapon off the floor, but Tiffany Mitchell has done more than just score the basketball for her team. She's defended. She's assistant she's created for others that means somebody else is going to have to step up and right now Zaya Cook has had the hot hand but who's going to be that player that can help her Tosh Cloud reaching in to make the basket difficult and does that so it'll be Zaya Cook heading to the free throw line where she is a perfect three for three tonight she's already got the career high 30 points looking to add to that five rebounds three dimes as well now she felt a little slippage and wants the floor swept up. And I don't blame her. After seeing her captain go down, wants to make sure everything is right. Zaya Cook, five foot nine inches tall, just 23 years old. I know. <laughs> I can't even remember being that young. She misses the first free throw. That's about the only thing that hasn't worked for her today. She's got a street named after her in Toledo, Ohio. What's the name of it? Is it Zaya Cook Street? <laughs> there you go. Yes, original. Original. Izzy Harrison's doing it again. She's got 38, two off of her career high. Team Cloud up 102 to 99. Under a minute to go here in overtime. And Izzy is just smooth down low. She is so in her bag. She done found the loose Tic Tacs at the bottom. <laughs> Lexi Hall off the mark. Mincy there for the rebound. Zaya Cook, three on the way. No, and Harrison has another rebound. She's got 13 of those. Tosh kicking it to Ray Burrell. Cloud asking for it back because now the clock is Team Cloud's friend. 102-99 is the count. Less than 20 seconds to go in the game. Five seconds on the shot clock. Cloud recognizing Harrison for three. Harrison's first three of the season. 
she's got 41, and that is a new career high. Of course 41 with a three ball. Izzy, you are her. 105.99. Zaya Cook earning another trip to the free throw line. The run 11-0. This overtime has belonged to Tosh Cloud and Izzy Harrison. Izzy Harrison. Don't hurt him, Izzy. She said, y'all thought all I could do was score down low? <laughs> Harrison, 41 points, 13 rebounds. Her first triple of the season. She's got two dimes as well. Natasha Cloud has fouled out. 17 points, 15 assists. And that is how Team Cloud was able to pull out this victory. 105 to 101. A career high from Izzy Harrison with 41. And those 180 win points go to Tosh Cloud and company as well. What impressed you most tonight, Cheryl? Well, Team Mitchell getting off to an early start, but Team Cloud finding a way to withstand that run and come out with this victory. Listen, everybody on Team Cloud was huge. Tosh doing what Tosh does, but Isabel Harrison made some noise tonight, put everybody on notice. Team Cloud winning in overtime 105 to 101 against Brett Lancaster and our entire crew. Thanks so much for watching. AU basketball continues tonight at 9 Eastern as Team Gray faces Team Sims. Check out where to watch on the website, auprosports.com. We'll see you back on ESPN+.